Hello and welcome to this new lesson and thanks for joining this course. Now in this lesson, I need to make few things clear and I need you to understand me very well for this work, for this course to work for you. Now before you download anything, you need to take what I say in this lesson into consideration. Otherwise, there are no guarantees that LabVIEW will be able to communicate with your Raspberry Pi. The first thing that you need to know is that LabVIEW is basically the user interface program. So we have LabVIEW. Okay, sorry for the writing. Anyway, we have LabVIEW and LabVIEW will communicate with your Raspberry Pi and the communication will be through a library called Linux. So Raspberry Pi is the hardware and LabVIEW is the software interface. Now Linux is the library that you will use to connect your LabVIEW interface with your Raspberry Pi board. Now, Linux was first introduced back in 2014. It was a library that people use to communicate with embedded system boards like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, BeagleBone, and other boards, but it has a lot of bugs. Now, the first, uh, let's say, LabVIEW version that works with Linux library is LabVIEW 2014 and this is a very old version now we can work with that version but we have another option that I will discuss in this lesson now LabVIEW 14 has a dedicated Linux library and usually when you install LabVIEW 2014 you have to install Visa library as well so you have to install these two libraries and I will show you how to do that in a separated section but it will be like at the end of this course because we are not going to use LabVIEW 2014 uh, the version that we are going to use is LabVIEW 2020 and I'm going to talk about that in a minute now LabVIEW 2014 has its own Linux library and its own Visa library that you have to download and install manually. And once you download and install these two libraries, you can communicate with Raspberry Pi. Now, it supports Raspberry Pi 2, 3. I didn't try it with 4, but it might work as well. It has a lot of bugs, so it's not recommended. This is the first option. Okay? And this is not the option that we will go with in our course. We will go with the second option, which is LabVIEW 2020. Now, when I say 2020, I need to specify the version that we will use. We will use LabVIEW 2020 Community Edition. Now, the Community Edition is basically a free LabVIEW version that a national instrument company made available for public so that you can easily use it to test lab view and to do work using this version now there is another problem here lab view 2020 supports linux library by default so when you download and install lab view 2020 community edition you don't have to do anything else you just you can just get started and use Linux library out of the box. There are no another installation steps or uh, let's say additional steps that you have to go through to activate the Linux library. And you don't even need to install the Visa library. It will be available by default. So this is the version that we will go with, LabVIEW 2020 Community Edition. Now, when you go to LabVIEW website or National Instrument website to download LabVIEW, you will see that they have uh, LabVIEW 2020 and they have a later version called 
LabVIEW 2020 SP1. Now, if you by mistake downloaded SP1 version, you won't find Linux library. And when you try to install it manually using their VI manager, it won't work. You will see a lot of errors, a lot of issues, and all of these issues will result um, will go, will go on, you will go nowhere when you try SP1 version. So I find it weird that the next support is not available on SP1. So in order to make sure that you get that 2020 Community Edition, the right version, I have uploaded it on our own servers and I've provided a link to download it in a separate lecture. You can download it directly from that link. It's about two gigabyte file. Now, this is regarding LabVIEW. You have to download the LabVIEW 2020 Community Edition, not the SP1 version, and it will have Linux library by default. Now, the second thing that we need to talk about is the Raspberry Pi operating system version. Now, in the latest version, which is 2020 of the Raspbian operating system, it has some bugs. So sometimes it works with the Linux library, sometimes it doesn't work. So to avoid this problem, I also uploaded a stable version of Raspberry Pi operating system that you can use with Raspberry Pi 2, 3, and 4. And you can simply upload this version to your SD card and start using it out of the box. You will have no problem at all since I have used it when I recorded this, this course. So you have to download the Raspberry Pi OS 2019 and I have provided a link I uploaded the, this version on our own servers and I have provided a link in a separated lecture to download the right copy so let's summarize what you need to do to make sure that everything works just fine for you now the first thing that you need to do is you need to download and install LabVIEW 2020 Community Edition. And when we say Community Edition, we mean not SP1. You also need to download this is the first step. Second step, download and install Raspbian 2019 OS. And I have provided a link to do that. And then follow the lectures. Now, why I did this video, why I'm recording this, because when you try to download LabVIEW on your own and you face issues, the only way to download LabVIEW again and install it on your system is by doing a system reset. It's really hard to delete a LabVIEW, an old LabVIEW version, and to download a new one. It's really hard to get rid of the old file installation files. So to avoid all of the connection issues, follow my steps. And if you by mistake downloaded 2014 or 2020 SP1 version, you have to install LabVIEW on a virtual machine inside your Windows, or you need to do a quick format for your operating system for everything to work smoothly. Otherwise, there are no guarantees that uh, the interface process, the interfacing process will work for you. So my recommendation is to download and install LabVIEW 2020 Community Edition and don't download and install Linux or Visa libraries. They are there by default. And then download the operating system, upload it to your SD card, then turn on your Raspberry Pi and follow my steps. Now, again, if you by mistake <coughs> downloaded and then install any other LabVIEW version, it will be hard for me to help you solve any connection issue that you might face. Follow my steps and hopefully 
everything will work for you just like it did work for me. And I found this uh, uh, after, let's say, like three or four days testing different versions of LabVIEW and different versions of Raspberry Pi operating system. So this is the final result. This is what worked for me. And it will work for you as well if you followed my steps and used my links. Thanks for watching this lesson. See you next.